Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here in Trondheim in my brand new 2020 Audi e-tron 55 Quattro. Today we're doing a range challenge. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Chris. I do car reviews. I've just bought this e-tron as I just said, and I'm gonna make a lot of videos on this car. I already have a few videos on my channel about this car. And if you've seen my last video where I did a range challenge with Bjorn Nilon or Tesla Bjorn, that's a really cool video. Check it out in the description down below. And as I said, if you're new here, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It's much appreciated as much as 92% guys. I checked this yesterday. 92% of you guys who are watching aren't subscribed. So what the heck are you doing? Go down there, click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. But today's trip, well, the outside temperature is eight degrees Celsius. We're going a bit longer than we did last time with Bjorn because we're starting in downtown Trondheim. We're going 481 kilometers, meaning I'll have to charge. And on the way up, I stopped at a place called Elvrum on this trip from Trondheim to Oslo and from Elvrum to Klett where we did the stop last time which is about 15 kilometers that way it was 400 and no 343 kilometers the first leg of this trip is 353 so more than 350 kilometers and outside temperatures of 8 degrees Celsius we have rainy weather we have this car equipped with 20 inch wheels and two 55 millimeter wide tires well, I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to stop at the fast charger in Elvedum. Elvedum. And that's where we're going to Elvedum because there they have the first fast charger, which will give this car 150 kilowatts of charging. All the other chargers on the way are 50 kilowatts only. So I'm currently charging at 83% battery, 84%. 18 minutes until I'm fully charged, but the car is a bit, it is a bit cold outside. So at 84%, I'm only charging at 92 kilowatts. The maximum speed I got here was just below 120. This car can deliver, I mean, up to 150 to almost 80% when the battery is uh, warm and when we have nice temperatures outside. So this is the reason why I'm trying to get to that 150 kilowatt charger to get to Oslo as quickly as possible. You can see here that we're at 93% and we're still charging above 60 kilowatts. That's why, you know, this car can charge up to 100% at above 50 kilowatts. So I don't lose any charging speed at all. I actually, you know, gain charging speed because at a 50 kilowatt charger, they can deliver a maximum of 50 kilowatts. But this car can, you know, take above 50 kilowatts till almost 100%. I mean, to 100%. So that that is crazy. And last time, the last challenge when me and Bjorn drove, I think we used a, a little more than six hours driving um, and then I spent 20 minutes charging so six hours and 20 minutes six hours and 15 minutes so today we're gonna try to do the trip in less time uh, because the chargers the ionity charger is placed at the end of the route meaning I don't have to top up when I get there let's take it slow where you go I go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it one and a half hours on the road um, we've been climbing a bit because this first section of of road from trondheim to oslo um, we do climb because we are going over the highest point at around, I think, 700 meters, a little more than 700 meters. The current elevation is 560 meters. We've done 120 kilometers. So in 120 kilometers, climbing 560 meters isn't too bad, but you know, that, that makes the consumption a bit high. The current consumption is 27.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers the car is indicating a range of 187 kilometers but our current 
distance to our destination is 232. So that is about 45 kilometers shy. But I do think that consumption will drop once we get over the, the highest point of our trip. But it doesn't help that, you know, for the first hour it was raining a lot and also the outside temperature is 7 degrees Celsius. So, well, summer is most definitely over here in Norway. We have now fall temperatures and this will, yeah, affect our uh, consumption and the range. This car has a 95 kilowatt hour battery, but only 86 and a half of that is available. And the trip started as, as you know, in the beginning of the video in uh, Trondheim and to the Circle K station, the fast charger in uh, Elvrum is 353 kilometers. So if you take uh, the battery pack divided by the number of kilometers you get the consumption you have to hit to be able to go that distance and that consumption is 24 and a half kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and as we've spoken in, about in this video consumption has been quite high we've been you know even above 30 at the beginning of the trip but fortunately now consumption has dropped we're now at 23.9 and that also means that we have 141 kilometers of range left, uh, but the distance is only 131 kilometers. So we're in the green now. So it's smooth sailing into the Circle K station in Elvedum. We gotta be, you know you'll have a good time wherever you Okay, so we arrived here at Elvedum with 6% battery left, guys. Not a lot, but we had a range of around 30 kilometers. So we were good in, you know, in the green. Um, these Ionity chargers are, are have been a hassle last time I did this. And now I tried the app Bjorn lent me his RFID chip because he said the app is just terrible and yes the app is terrible much more terrible than all the other apps and I have all the other apps on my phone uh, but finally I managed to, after a few minutes to get charging but it's a real hassle um, so I have to charge to I think about 50% because the last time when I drove from Circle K uh, Fudeset to this station, I used about 46% because I arrived with uh, 54%, but I drove a bit fast, but I want to have some error margin here. So I'm gonna charge to 50%. Um, I can turn around the camera now so you can see, guys, I am now already at 10%. I'm getting 122 kilowatts. Um, 46 minutes to fully charge. Remember, I, I had 6% when I arrived. But also very interesting, the range, uh, no, the consumption dropped actually to 21.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And then I'm ju just going to do the th theoretical range quickly on my phone so you guys can uh, get an idea. So the battery pack is 86.5 divided by 21.6 gives this car a theoretical range of 400 kilometers with this consumption so that is quite interesting actually but you know the last portion of this road here or the 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 the, the last section of this trip will be motorway there's one small stretch of around 20 kilometers but the rest of the stretch is motorway so we're going to put our destination into here we're going to go circle k food set that is 134 kilometers um i've i i left at around i think we've spent let's see if we can go get into the board computer here um, no, it won't let me, but I think, um, depending on how quickly we charge here, I think this trip down from Trondheim will be quicker than the trip up to Trondheim because of the charging speed. Um, weather has also improved. We have now sunny weather with 14 and a half degrees. Um, that also helps, but we're still at some ele elevation here because um, we are at 185 meters. Remember when we started in Trondheim, we're at, at zero 
and also when we start and also we're at, at about zero so we still have some elevation which will help with you know the consumption on the way back to circle k in fudisa yeah so we're getting 146 kilowatts of charging which isn't the fastest though 15 degrees celsius outside I've charged faster at Circle K chargers in Oslo and um, yeah, the temperature might have been quicker but now we are at 50% guys but this app just doesn't show how long we've been charging this app is so stupid and then f when I started to charge till now it managed to log uh, timed itself out so it's it's not the best of chargers but I'm going to go 51 maybe 52 percent and then we'll unplug just give it a few more minutes because i started the trip at so we'll be there at 10 past three uh at circle k food set and i started the trip around 8 45 but remember guys i started the trip uh closer to the city of trondheim where it was uh 11 minutes closer so our real time will be uh six hours and 15 minutes i th think we spent six hours and 20 minutes last time driving might have been longer with pit stops but now we're at 52 percent i'm going to uh yeah i just <laughs> i thought i stopped recording but i'm going to stop this app now let's stop charging okay stop the charging session couldn't stop the charging sh session yeah amazing why couldn't it stop the charging session hmm couldn't stop it we're still charging i want to stop stop stopping couldn't stop why can't you stop is it possible to stop the charging here on the stop charging ah oh. couldn't stop okay guys i have to put away the camera and try to do this uh, without you guys watching me Finally on the motorway that was a bit stressful so according to the GPS we'll be at Circle K food set at 11 minutes past 3 but we're now doing 125 kilometers on the speedometer so GPS real life we're doing about 10% over I guess in real life so 120 121 somewhere around uh, that speed um, our consumption has now climbed to 22.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers i think that will climb maybe it, it will even climb to uh, higher than we had on the trip up which was 23.4 uh, on the whole way from oslo to trondheim um, i'm fairly confident that we will at least uh, hit that number um, but but what is very interesting is that you must remember that we started at 8.45 in the morning, but we were 11 minutes further away from the uh, Klet station that was where we start, stopped last time. So we have to deduct 11 minutes. And in the Ionity app, I wasn't, wasn't able to find the, uh, the, the it doesn't say how long you've been charging, but in the invoice that they sent me, we charged for 19 minutes. So we went from 6% to 56% in 19 minutes. 50% charge in 19 minutes. That is crazy, guys. So the race is still on and I think, and this even includes one pit stop on the way where I had to stop about halfway after about three hours, I had to stop to do a pit stop so six hours and 15 minutes will be our total time from start to stop with charging and also with a pit stop i think that is quicker than the time that me and bjorn drove from oslo to trondheim and that is due 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 to the rapid charging speed of this car so we have about 115 kilometers left one hour and 13 minutes the time has now drive, dropped to will be, arrive at 10 past three but we might even be there at five past three so six or ten minutes well let's try let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's
let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it three oh one we left at 8 45 but we started 11 minutes further from oslo so if we subtract that we spent six hours and five minute, minutes on a trip that should take around six hours with charging and two pit stops, one uh, with the charging and one without charging. But that is mighty impressive, guys. But what's even more impressive is that the consumption now is 22 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. On the way up, it was 23.4. So we actually have a more economical run maybe due to better weather for mostly of the trip i just don't know but that isn't bad consumption we all know that the e-tron is a thirsty suv but with that i'm just going to get out my calculator because if we do a the theor theoretical range even with the uh last portion of motorway 86.5 divide by 22.3 388 kilometers of the theoretical range real world driving so this car has no problem in the real world of doing somewhere in between 350 and 400 kilometers but in a few weeks i'll be going to stavanger and that no motorway on that portion of the trip and that will be quite an exciting uh test to do because maybe we can actually get a theoretical range of more than 400 kilometers that would be very cool and very exciting so yeah charging speed now at 40 141 just going to show you guys the the charging speed there very quickly 141 so we're getting a better charging speed here than on that charger in elevator outside temperature is 15 and a half degrees we're at 34 percent and this might actually just climb so guys that was the range challenge from trondheim to oslo if you like this video please be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below and for more car content and more ev challenges and more challenges on my youtube channel please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye